Welcome back. We've got a real grudge match coming up for you now. Kate? Yes, Ian. There's no love lost between motorcycle daredevils Patrick Furstenoff and Gary Rothwell when they go head to head for our next record, the world's fastest wheelie. Let battle commence. Two men, one bike, one remarkable world record challenge, and a day that begins with an act of extraordinary generosity and ends in controversy. Meet Patrick Furstenoff, the challenger from Sweden. I, b I believe he's going to beat it sometime. No problem. The bike is powerful enough. Meet Gary Rothwell current world record holder in the high-speed wheelie category. So, it's feeling good. Damn good. Gary's existing record for the highest speed motorcycle wheelie stands at 178 miles an hour, but the style of his record is one of the most controversial issues in motorcycling. It's a wheelie, but it's not a proper one. It's a cheating wheelie, like, it's not good enough to call it a world record because you need to go for at least, at least 300 yards. Patrick insists that it's cheating to only lift the front wheel off the ground as the bike passes through the timing lights. My wheel is like going from second gear, third gear, and through the gearbox all the way to the end. A proper wheelie, he argues, should last for several hundred yards. But on the morning of this most demanding of record challenges, the engine on Gary's bike blows up in practice. So that Gary can still take on Patrick head to head, the Swede honorably agrees to let Gary ride his own turbocharged Honda Blackbird. My wheelie's cheap. <laughs> OK, well, we'll see what Patrick can do on his bike. We'll see what I can do on his bike, and then the only thing I was, see who's cheating. The only thing I was saying that it's a cheat wheelie to do a short wheelie. But short Gary, wheel. I believe Gary going to do a better wheelie with his bike and his bike, because his bike is not rideable. And he can borrow my bike, no problem at all. If he crashes it or broke it, he yeah, has to pay for it. The if yeah, there's no problem. We six can, feet under, I won't. Yeah, but take it out anyway, he can try the bike after I've tried it, no problem. With first call on his bike, Patrick, the challenger, takes to the runway. Straight away, he demonstrates his preferred wheelie style, a long-distance run through the gears with the front wheel well above the tarmac. As his speeds increase, however, the wheelie distance gets much shorter. Remember, though, this is approaching three times the national speed limit. On his 13th run, Patrick clocks a speed of 182 miles an hour, breaking Gary's existing world record. One, eight, two. Congratulations. Thanks. Was You're it welcome. all the way through the yeah, tunnel? Yeah, that, that was a wheelie. Sure. Yep. yep. Are you going to give Gary a go? Yeah, he can try now. So we're going to have a go with power wheelies now. Go on. Cheating wheelies, not power wheelies. <laughs> cheating wheelies. We've resorted to cheating wheelies. Now it's feeling good. I can't <laughs> complain on it. At last, Gary gets his first run. It's cheating wheelie anyway, but it's good wheelie. For your sake. <laughs> Gary beats my record now. I'm going to turn up the boost, yeah. Uh, more power on the bike. This is an unfamiliar bike for Gary. The enormous power of Patrick's machine makes it difficult to maintain a steady wheelie attitude. But with Gary's confidence increasing, Patrick is perhaps beginning to regret his generosity. <laughs> Jason, tell him to go one more and then let the bike rest for a while, see what's happening. While Patrick plots to take his bike back, Gary turns in a wheelie speed of 181.2 miles an hour, less than one mile an hour behind the Swede's fastest run so far. Patrick decides it's time to make it hard for Gary to get any closer. But Gary is determined to hold on to the bike. Literally. Can you want one more go? Play it. Come on. Play the white man, will ya? <laughs> you who? Alright, another go. Wait to see what's happening. I know I can probably do it. Patrick obviously knows I can do it. 
With that in mind, Patrick will have to throw all caution to the wind. Where did you buy the tickets for another go? <laughs> <laughs> With one last-ditch effort, Patrick breaks through the 190-mile-an-hour barrier for the first time ever. That's my goal for my life. This feeling like God. Perfect. I've been waiting for this since 86, and for my girlfriend and my family, it's important that I quit before I crash. So with Patrick's retirement ringing in his ears, Gary seizes the opportunity to win back his crown. 190.1 miles an hour. Close, but not enough. One mile again. <laughs> 190.1. One what? 190.1. That was a pretty good one. Pretty good one. That was a really good one, your second one. Ah, oh, no, don't be stealing the keys! With things this tight, Patrick seizes the keys to make sure that Gary gets no closer. Patrick, he was good enough, in the, obviously, in the first place to let me use his bike, but he's just been a little bit stingy with his goes. Yeah! He's my big brother, isn't he, really? You know, I get to have a go when he says, but, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles, and that's just what I'm going to have to take, so... I actually held, held the record for a couple of months. Um, if I would have you know, been getting the equal opportunities, I'd say I might have been able to do it again. But if the people out there are watching, you've probably seen it for yourself. Live to rise another day, I can go home, you know, go home in one piece and come back another day. But for the time being, Patrick Firstenoff reigns supreme.